Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so as you guys know, I just finished Red Dead Redemption 2, and it was... Gosh, it was a bittersweet ending. I'm gonna just let you guys know right now, if this game gives me the chance to get revenge on Micah, and even Dutch at this point, like Dutch can get all the, all the smoke, to be honest. Listen, if it gives me the chance, I'm going all at it. Listen, I'm grabbing him by the throat. I'm putting a bullet in his... I don't even know. Listen, I don't think it's, I think it's too, uh, what I have in my head is too vulgar to, to describe. So just know if it gives me the opportunity, I'm going for it. But now we are in the epilogue. We are playing as John Marston. This is going to be cool because I think throughout the epilogue, whenever I get a chance, I'm going to try and reconnect with the gang, like the people that are still alive. So I think that's going to be really cool. So, uh, yeah. But the highlight is getting revenge on Micah. That's going to be such a beautiful, beautiful episode. That's going to be a, an episode just specifically for getting back at Micah, that piece of shit. All right, let's get into the game. Some years later. Oh, yeah, that's right. After we had that whole traumatic scene of Arthur dying on the hill, we just have Abigail start yapping in our ear. Our ear. The wheel. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we... You mean me? The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should've just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. Yeah, we know what so happened in Strawberry. good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. Yeah. The books is Jack's. And well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Bob. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore? I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir king Lancelot. Arthur. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. It's so crazy seeing Jack all grown up, man. I'm so used to him just being a little child trying to be happy. This strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place been a long time hey abigail you can you not read I, obviously the, the damn sign says something? strawberry well this place brings back a lot of memories you guys know what the hell i'm talking about why don't you pull up just here is this good enough for you woman to see what kind of good honest work i can find grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such me too see if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something all right. Speak with the shopkeeper. Help wanted. Please apply within. Well, there we go. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. 
Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed. Are you kidding me? I have to redo all of this? Oh, nah. Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh... Yo, well, buddy, who are you? Get out of my way. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Got it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if it, you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um... You know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. You guys better not try nothing. They'd be giving me them weird looks, like, come on now, you don't think I see that? Yo, I don't remember Strawberry looking this beautiful, man. Okay. Hold up, let's go speak to Abigail. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. <laughs> it is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Oh. Not ever now. I won't. Man, I remember when John could give two shits about his family. You guys remember that? Man, Arthur, or, I was about to say Arthur. John is a changed man, and I'm loving it. Hold on, I'm going to go talk to some people, you know what I mean? We got to get ourselves acquainted with this town. We ain't no outlaw anymore. Hello. Hi, fellas. You just got to nod your head. You're not going to... How you folks doing? All right, what the... Ain't nobody in this town friendly? Oh, pretty good, Milton. Hello. Good. Damn, you okay. Ride slow now. Gettys don't want his goods damaged. Of course. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna ride how I want, sir. Alright, we gotta... How far is... How, how far we got? Okay, we got a trip. We got... We got a little bit of a trip on our hands. Let's go. West past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay. Yo, they told me to ride slow. I ain't riding slow. Come on now. We've already seen this. You know what? No, we'll enjoy the scenery a little bit. I can't wait to revisit. Uh, I think Unk. I want to see if I can see uh, Unk first, man. I miss Unk. I'm glad that they did not kill him off because that would have been another. That would have broke me if they killed Unk. I don't know. something about him. He's just he's such a happy old man. He's just one of them, like, grandpas that you just you just bond over just random shit. You know what I mean? Hey, yo, John, don't worry, man. We got a we got a GPS right on the bottom left. I got you. What? Did, did we really drop something out of the back? Yo, come on, man. We just got here and we're already messing everything up. This is what happens when you when you've been an outlaw for twenty something years. You can't even do normal, honest work anymore. All right, here we go. This is the they say it was the Getty's place. What the hell is this dude's name? Better hope he's friendly. Okay, we are moving way too fast. Damn, I don't know how we probably lost so much shit. Oh no. You Mr. Gettys? Gettys, no, sir. Right. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. <laughs> we all work. Big man around, boy? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, you better get out of here before I put a bullet in your head. When's uh, Boss May gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> John, what is that gonna do? Go easy on him. We can't have trouble. Oh, baby. Yeah, here we go. Retrieve the stolen wagon, y'all. Do we have any weapon? Oh, no. Nah. All I got is a lantern? Man, I'm about to smack the shit out of these people That's with a lantern. Damn wagon. You ain't getting away with that. Uh oh, look at you. Hey, what you gonna do now? Oh! Oh shit! Yo, wait, 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 wait. You're getting out of that wagon one way or another. How, how do I? Wait. Whoa, whoa! All you had to do was ask. Oh, now you got off. Oh yeah. So what's up now? Mr. Abel's offer. Or, well, we might not be so cooperative. <laughs> Shit, man. Look how easy that was. Man, you guys are so, You are so lucky I don't have weapons right now. You would have been... Nah, see, that's the thing. We're trying to be a better man for, uh, for Abigail. Probably shouldn't have... Yo, get... Probably shouldn't have, uh... Kill anybody. We shouldn't kill anybody. At least not yet. Unless we, unless we have to. Alright, sir, I got your wagon back. It was, it was pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife... Even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. Mm. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. Cool. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Man, I appreciate you giving me a chance. Yo, check this place out. This is what I'm talking about. Alright. Is this the... Is this the beginning? Oh shit, epilogue part one. Pronghorn Ranch. So it kind of seems like this is going to be more of like a chill part one. It looks like we're going to be just settling in, getting some work done. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, the map dump? Is the map unlocked? Oh, shit, the map is unlocked. Yo, first things first, when I'm done with the uh, with the, the epilogue, I'm hitting up Hamish. I really want to see why people were telling me to wait for that. But for now, what do we got? We got Tom Dickens. We got some work. Where you at, Tom? Yo, hold on. I'm gonna get myself acquainted a little bit more. Let's see if these people... <gasps> Dude, that dog is freaking huge! Hey, little fella. Little oh. fella? They ain't no little fella. Come here, boy. Who's a good boy? Alright, let's see if... Let's see if these people are nice. Good morning, fellas. See y'all okay? Mm-hmm. Yo, what is wrong with these people in this area? I guess they don't like... They don't like new people. I don't know. Well, damn. How about you, sir? How you doing? Hey there. Morning. 
Wow, he actually responded. It's a fine country. Oh yeah. Enjoy the peace and quiet. We'll be seeing you. Yes, we finally got someone to respond. Let's go. All right, Dickens, let's go. I'm ready for some work. Oh no. Or Gettys. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. <laughs> John. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. <laughs> hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here, something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Yo, I don't like this guy's attitude with me. He's he's trying to he's trying to imply like that I'm I'm lying or something. I don't I don't like that. Come on this way. I I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, I believe it is. Oh yeah. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no. Sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. <laughs> this place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Well, damn. Abigail ain't too happy. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? I guess. Oh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? How in the world? Good Lord, no. Nothing like that. Yeah. Oh. Just a ranch hand then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right then. Here's the cows. This might be a complete disaster. Who knows? Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down. I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Just yank the shit out of it. All right, left, right, left, right. Oh, okay. Yep. Almost got a pail full. Well, that was easy. Bing, 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 bing. Hey, 
Grandpa? Is that your boy? Sure. Abe, Lancelot. Hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy mate of your pa, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. learn, partner. Enough, Jim. We all gotta earn our keep. How about you and the boy, uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. So what, John, we're, we're just a yes man now? Is that really we're stooping down to that low? How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that great. Twelve, wow. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Yo, don't tell me we gotta start cleaning up shit and all that, too. Oh. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work. Uh. As it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Man, this is bringing me back to when we had that one, uh, what was it? Debt collection mission with Mommy. Arthur. And we had to pick up manure. Long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Gosh, this is horrible. Why am I doing this again? Come on, pick up the pace now. Stinking piles. Of... That stinks. Yeah, no shit. Yo, Jack, why don't you start picking this shit up? Why do I gotta do all the work? Gunslinging the shit shovel. <laughs> yeah. Great. For real. Return the pitchfork. All right, finally put this shit down. Your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up. I'll go check on her. Okay. Abigail. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Hmm. Uh-oh. That was cute. I'm, lo I'm loving this, man. I like this. I don't know if the farming life is for me, but hey, we gotta do what we gotta do. I'll put some coffee on. <laughs> All right, John, another, another hard day ahead of us. Did we, we just earned three dollars? Is that what I just saw? All right, do we get on our horse? And I, I guess we can. I guess we can ride around. Wait, hold up. Is that Jack? Yo, Jack, come here, man. Yo, Jack, what you doing? How'd it feel, boy? Doing some work for once in your life. <laughs> uh, fine, sir. I did okay, didn't I? I'd like to see more of that from you. Don't mind me. Thank you, sir. How you getting on? How's it look? You ate your breakfast yet? Ain't you got work to do? No one's watching a clock out there. I'll see you around. What we got? John. What we got for breakfast? Canned fruit and an apple? Hey. As long as Abigail ain't cooking. Because I don't know if she can cook, right? Honestly, I have no idea. Damn it, Abe. Abe? Mr. Geddes. You got an answer for me? Mr. Geddes, I... I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Geddes, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost. Possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Fatherhood Milton, for beginners. Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. 
Abe! Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Hey, since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much... I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck! Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh... Is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay, then. Oh, I see what you're saying here, I, right. I think. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. Yo, this little kid, what is he doing? You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Uh, yeah, clearly you do. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. That's Jeremiah. Oh, none of that. Hey, Aren't Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. You done? Jeremiah, come on. come on. Don't do not do this to me. Come on. There we Easy, go. Boy. Okay. No. Nope. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <sighs> Calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us. Dude, his eyes are freaking wide, dude. Look at that. Me and behave. Yeah, I'll give you a nice little pat. Make him behave same way as he does for you. I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. All right, tire out, Jeremiah. Let's go, Jeremiah. Where are we going? Okay, uh, deplete Jeremiah's stamina to calm him enough for Duncan to ride. Okay, so we about to Come go on. flying. Let's go. Got this nice big ass open field. I know, I know you're ready to run, Jeremiah. Look at this. Where's that big mean horse? This actually might take a little bit to do. Hold on. You got some energy? Show me this. Show me. Gosh, there's so much wildlife out right now. Look at that group of horses. Okay. That was Yo. Fun, you can behave now, can't you? Come on. Yeah, you better behave. You better behave, Jeremiah. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Come on, buddy. You got this. Watch him just get completely thrown off and just do like a front flip or some shit. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. He no. will throw you. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony. But I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. <laughs> Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Appreciate Can you. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns. Out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but, but. Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good, nice and easy now, both of you. Please throw him off this horse. That would be the funniest thing ever. Please do that. You you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. 
Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. you, Mr. Milton. You I got you, fun, kid. kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. All right, Miss Geddes, what do you need? All right, you're rushing me. I'm trying to teach a kid how to ride a horse. What's up? Come on. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God. Where does my husband find men like you? <laughs> Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Excuse me? Whatever you say, ma'am. Yo, where are my gloves at? Where my... John, put, put some gloves. Got him. Okay, now... Oh. Okay, hold on. It slipped. It's coming out one way or another. Grab them again. Oh, I lost it. Come on. Hold it again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pull. Pull. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. Why is John smiling? Did he enjoy this? I'll hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh. You're married? She was flirting with us. I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Did I just see shit all over our hands? Oh, nah. I can say this life ain't for me. I'm telling you right now. I could not do this. I could not do this. Hey, John. Jim. Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? And kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Oh, yeah. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. All right, ride with Jack. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. We just... What do you mean? Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But... Maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. There we go. You know. Dude, look how big our horse is the compared horse to his. Holy crap. Fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... This is so wholesome. Teaching Jack how to ride, how to ride a horse properly. Hold LT near Jack to focus on him and to control his speed. All right, let's pick up the pace, kid. You can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. He might get bucked off his horse. Man, I might have to see that. I don't know. Should I do it to him? Nah, nah, nah I ain't gonna do it. Slow it down. Whoa, boy. Whoa. Whoa. Faster. Why don't we speed it up again? Go, go, okay. go, go. Come on. 
Faster. faster. Come on. Faster? I don't know how much faster I can allow him to go before he gets knocked off. There we go. We're doing it. We're doing it. What a beautiful moment between father and a son. This is great. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Mm. All right, let's pick up, let's the, pace. up the pace. Again. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Wait, where am I going? Where am I going? Here we are. Yep. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Oh, you were about go. to get it, you little shit. Oh, okay. You want to cheat now. Right, race back to the ranch. Should I should I just absolutely destroy him or should I give him a I think I'm gonna give him a little I'll let him win. It feels like I'm flying! <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. Jack, you need to move a little faster, man. I'm not even- I'm barely- I'm barely tapping my A button. Come on now. I got the hang of this, sir. Hey, it looks like you do. You can go a little faster, though. Tease- Oh, I could tease him. Oh, no. I lost it. Ah! He's having the time of his life right now. Oh, my goodness. Last straight. Come on. Come on, faster. Faster. Oh, does he speed up if I speed up? Come on, kid. Oh! I think I lost. I beat you. I beat you. I well beat... ridden, son. I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Oh, yo, hold up. Am I getting shit talked by my own son? Oh, nah. Dude, that was great. I, I'm having a good time right now. This it, it sucks not being able to play as Arthur, but John's John's pretty much the second best character, in my opinion. Hey. Hold up. Wake up, Jim. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Boy loves reading his books. All right, fellas. Another day on the ranch. We made another three whole dollars. Let's go. I think we got to go talk to... Shit, I don't remember his name. I know where we gotta go, though. Yo, what up, man? Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? Don't worry about I told it. told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. Yeah, he, he knows we're lying. I was raised to take a man at his word and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard and I learn fast okay give me a hand with this fence yep there's plenty more to do pound it in there we don't want it coming down why are you swinging it like that, John? Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Man, this is light work. Come on now. Position. Place. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. But maybe I should have done bottom bottom up. Uh, oh well. We're going top, Doing bottom, right. then middle. <laughs> this is not how it's supposed to go, but hey, it works. Okay. That's it. 
Boom. Easy. Told you I learned fast, sir. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Oh, look at him. He's not even hitting it with the, the right end of the freaking hammer. What are you doing, John? Oh, look at him hustling. This is what I like to see. Damn, he's doing that quick. Ah, sweating hard, working hard. Life ain't easy out here as a farmer, you know what I'm saying? Over here. Huh? Yo, why are you talking to me like I'm a damn slave? Get over here, boy. Oh, nah, he gotta watch his mouth now. Investigate the commotion at the corral. Quick as you can. Hurry. Hurry. What up, what up, what up? Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Nope. Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. <laughs> Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Oh! Oh! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, my God! <laughs> Yo! I'll get him. Come here. Oh, my gosh. He just destroyed my freaking fit. Yo, where do you think you're going, buddy? Where do you think you're going? Come here. Oh, shit! God. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yo. Oh, my gosh. He's turning around again. No. Don't do it. Please. Please. Get. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got it. Come here. Let's talk. Get over. Oh, shit! Okay, this is gonna be tough. Hold on. This is gonna be tough. Yo. He's breaking everything. No, oh, he's, he's too fast. He's too fast. Yo, get your ass back here. Oh, he stopped. He stopped. Oh, shit. Shit. Yo. God. Come on, man. How am I going to do this? Oh, he stopped. He stopped. Oh, he's looking back at me again. No, you asshole. Get, get over here. Got him. How am I going to calm this thing down? You don't look like you're gonna wind down, <laughs> but I'll try. Calm, oh, calm All down, right. buddy. Calm easy, down. Easy, There, there, there. No, I, I let go by accident. Shit. Now where are you going? All right, here we go. Here it we ain't go. So bad. Nice and easy now, boy. All better. Okay. <laughs> there we go. We got him. Now come on, you hunk and chuck. Don't get no ideas. Come on. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. Dude, he set that dude there for liar. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. <laughs> He's freaking exhausted. Look at him. Man, shit, I would be too. Man, that's scary. That thing could kill you with just one little... One little thing. Investigate the disturbance. Oh! 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 You wanna watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. Oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, man. You made a big mistake, dude. Come on now. Come on. Yup, miss. Boy, man, step back. Step back. Come here. Oh, yeah, it is like that. Come on. Come here. Miss. Bop. Come here. Stupid. Dummy, come here. Oh! Get on the ground. Sit. Man, sit down. Sit the. Oh, really? Really now? 
Boom. You need help? Mm. That boy can Ooh. Damn, hit him, hit him with a backhand. Another backhand. Buddy, are you done now? Uh -oh. Get off that man. Get off him. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? You better watch your freaking mouth. Wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Wish I could have put a bullet in his head. Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. What? You expect me to just let him beat my ass? Man, get out of here. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Damn, this man having flashbacks of Dutch. Golly. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. What's that? What's going on over here? Hold up, hold up. Sneak a little. Oh, okay, now they're they're not talking anymore. I was about to sit there and listen to their whole Mr. Milton? conversation. Mr. Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Abigail, why are you staring at the... Are you good? Anybody want some more? Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. <laughs> I miss Mr. Pearson. So she can't John cook. Marston, you're such a pig! <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Yo, we ain't got no blankets or nothing? Are we just sleeping in the... Wow, no, nah, I could never do that. Whoa! What the hell was that? What are you... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. I'm Don't the open protector. It you know it's me. Yo, John, I don't know if this is- Oh, shit. Over by the stables! Yo! It's over. Rich man's body. Yo, what you fellas think you're doing over here? Oh! Yo, come here. Come here. Buddy. Oh my gosh, the combo. I'm getting double teamed. Get the- Get your hands off me. Watch it burn! Buddy, you made a big mistake. Come here. Come here. Let me hit you with a four-piece combo. Mm. Come on, step back. Damn! I lost my oh, wind. <laughs> they oh, killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I sir. guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns. Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. We about to get our weapons back? Hold up. Do we yeah, have them? Me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. 
What are you doing in that thing? Oh, Arthur's hat. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Let's freaking go. We finally got our shit back. Let's get it. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. All right, what do we have? What do we have? Oh my gosh, we have everything. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. We're about to annihilate these fools. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. Trust me. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Dude, John's probably so hyped to finally get back into being the, be yeah. the gunslinger he always There's was. Plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Ooh, this music. Oh, hell yeah. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to. Oh, whoa, yo, you're, you're shooting already? Ooh. Oh! I didn't even see that guy. Yo, what is this music? Sit down. Come here. Where are you all at? Where are you shooting from? Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. See you. Look out, huh? Let me deal with this. Yo, I'm taking heads, man. I'm taking heads. Come on now. Where are the rest of them at? Give me my dual wheels. Oh! <laughs> Wait, do we have oh we don't have the shot we don't have the shotgun. Where's everybody else? Oh! Where are they at? Where are they at? Oh, he's up top! Oh, hold up, hold up. Buddy, you, you, you're gonna climb down a ladder where we're just sitting there staring at you? Oh my gosh! They're holed up in the bar. We gotta move on them in there. Don't worry, boys. I'm going straight in. Actually, wait. Oh, I could just shoot them from the window. Hey, buddy! And... Oh, I missed. Good night. Oh, is that so? Is that so? You ain't so talky now, are you? Where you at? You think you could just hide from me? Oh shit! Where the hell did he come from? Get, man, get the hell off of me! The Laramie, whatever your dumbass name is, come here. Do I have to give you the two piece? Actually, you know what? Come here. Four piece. One, two. Oh, okay. This guy can. This guy can block. Hold on. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheet dip, get the stink of you off of her, farmhand. Hey, shut your dumb ass up. Damn, man. Holy shit. I'm gonna lose some of these guys, see what they got for me. I need money. 228, man, that was almost a full day's pay right there just from killing that guy. Crazy. All right, ride back to Pronghorn Ranch. Yo, see, that's how you handle business. Man, I, I bet John was freaking ecstatic just running around. Just like the old days. Hey, yo, listen, I think Arthur would be proud of the man that John has become. He's taking care of his family. He's handling business. He's doing right by Abigail and Jack. That's all. That's all. John, that's all Arthur wanted from from John. And I think he's, I think he's executing that pretty well so far. All right, boys, you good? Everybody good? Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, 
That weren't nothing. Well... You! Oh, you... <laughs> you saved my... No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay up? Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. She don't look happy again. Hey. What? Ooh. What choice did I have? Just answer me that. Come on, Abigail. What was I supposed to do? Here we go. Women, women always just being emotional. Hey, it is what it is. Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. Jim Milton rides again. Damn, hearing, hearing Arthur's voice is just... Why? Why you gotta do this to me? Come on, John. You got one job. To, well, technically, you got two jobs. One, do right by your family. And live out what Arthur wanted. That's all you gotta do, man. That's all you gotta do. All right, let's go see if we can talk some sense into Abigail. Try and make her understand. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know. Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am, Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance <laughs> a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. I'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get! You take care now. Of course. All right, Jack. Time to turn you into it's a nice real man. Out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Oh, it's real bumpy here. It's real I bumpy just here. About doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. Your ma was wrong about that. Ain't got nothing to do with pride. Come on now. Here. Want to take the reins, a little? I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster, 
Give him a little switch. And then hold to one side if you want to turn. Here. Try it out. Alright, Jack, let's see you. Come on now. Hey, take over. I don't gotta do nothing now. Perks of having a uh, having a kid. Let him do the work for you. You know what I mean? Give the old guy some time to relax. That's enough. For now. That kid's strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I'll leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Very good. Ah, shit, shit, shit. Oh, whoa, what's happening over here? You guys good? That man just shoved him for... For a reason that I do not know. Man, I am not the right person to be teaching Jack how to ride a wagon. I am not... I am not the best at this, trust me. I've had plenty of crashes. Alright, we're checking We're checking the mail. Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. <laughs> you sound so excited to do that. How we doing, Hi. sir? I'm here to name. My name, uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. Oh. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> Why is this guy acting a little strange? I will help you out. Mm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Jack, come on now. Don't be scared. Okay, it's pa? just a freaking wagon. Ah. Let these hands rest a little bit, kid. Come on now. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. That does kind of suck. Though. That would be cool to uh, kind of explore the town a little bit with, with our son Jack, but eh, it's all good. Hey, yo, who is this guy? If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down. Yo, what are you looking at? Uh, sure. All right, speed up all for right, me. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. He up. Yeah, I don't know who that I don't know who that guy was, but he was giving me a weird stare. So. I ain't trying to start no trouble right now. Uh oh, we got another person here. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Yeah, you better not try nothing. Is he well, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is he following me? Yo. This guy's following us. Please do not tell me we're gonna have to kill somebody in front of our son. Okay, no, we're good. Speed up. I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. 
Okay. Dude, imagine the bridge just collapses. Gosh, I don't know why I think I just. I don't know what it is. Every time I cross over a bridge, I'm like, man, please do not break. I just have a feeling one of these times it's gonna happen. Nothing. Just keep driving. Uh oh. Oh, please do not start. No trouble now. Do we have weapons? Okay. What? Oh, they're What's following wrong? us. Shit. Don't look around. Oh, Pop, hey. those men. Are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick! Down! Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Do we not have any weapons? Okay, gentlemen. Oh. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. What of it? Come here, partner. We don't mean no trouble. Man, what do you want? I hope not. I'm just a farmer <laughs> friend. Oh! Well, you guys made a really, really bad mistake, so I'll see you guys later. Oh my gosh! While responsible for Jack, you will not be able to use any weapons. Well, uh, I just used a weapon. What do you mean? Jack, you okay? It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Oof. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up! No, 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 no! Why are you going this way? No, no, no! Oh, you gotta be shit! Home quicker, please? Shit! Uh. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they? I'm dead? stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, now we're stuck. Shit! No. I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that? Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. Can we just keep going? I'm trying, uh, we're stuck. This isn't good. Look at him. Look at Jack. Now he's freaking out, and I can't even go nowhere! This is stupid. Eventually. Right, now we don't- let's not get stuck in a tree this time, alright, John? Damn, I don't know what happened before. We're back. Let's go. I need you to hold it together. Oh, he's freaking out again. You're fine. You're fine. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. That's right. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. All right, buddy. Calm down, man. It ain't that serious. Well, actually, I don't know what I'm saying. He's never seen anybody get killed, I don't think. You know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What was it called? Mm -hmm. What was the name, boy? Beecher's Home. That's right. Beecher's Home. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us own the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as ranch boy. Like Duncan Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah, that kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. I feel like any place that we go to, there's going to be some sort of problem. We have a bounty on our head. I don't know for how much. Everybody knows who the hell John Marston is. They know what he looks like. I don't know. It's going to be real interesting to see where this epilogue takes us. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. Yeah, you could say so. You could definitely say that. Didn't didn't think I was gonna have to murder three people on our trip there, but say hi to your mother. what are you gonna do? How is the? Oh. What happened? Yeah, it's. I don't. We got shot at. 
shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. I... Woman, what do you expect me to do? It caused all the problems. Won't even address. It was a gift for you. Oh, damn. John, you just can't do nothing right. You just can't. Wow. Motherhood. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Thank you, Abe. Appreciate you, man. You're a nice fella. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Allen. <gasps> Sadie! We've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. Yo! There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. This is when we can start reuniting with everybody? Is that... Alright, let's go talk to Abigail. Yo, let's go, man. This is what I was waiting for. I have the. I'll probably be the next episode. We'll have we'll go reunite with the the old gang members. It's been like seven years or something like that. I don't know. Abigail. Oh no! What happened? Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Damn. Damn. That room, that's that's so unfortunate. Oh, is it this is the gift that she bought for us, right? <laughs> hmm. John, if this don't make you want to change. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. <laughs> What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Return to work. All right, is, do we have... Oh no, that Sadie mission's not on the map yet. Okay. All right, what do you guys, what do they have doing? I, I can't speak. 
Okay, we gotta fix the fence. I was trying to say, what do they have me doing now? Damn. I cannot talk, huh? Is this the fence that, that we broke with the, the bull or whatever the hell? There we go. Oh, dude, I love the music in this game. Mm. Look at us, hard working. Our wife left us, but hey, what are you gonna do? I mean, I completely understand where Abigail's coming from. They're trying to not live the outlaw life anymore, but things are just coming up. John, man, he, he hates this. <laughs> oh, man. It's just, dude, it's like the same thing every day. Picking up cow picking up shit, milking the cows, brushing the horses, fixing the damn fence. It never ends, huh? A few months later. Oh wow, we were wait, we were without Abigail and Jack for a few months? <sighs> That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. All right, we're going to Geddes' house. Mr. Getty, I need you to understand. Come on. Give me what I need. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. No, I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. <laughs> Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own, so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none, but maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan? A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure, it'd be, it'd be my pleasure. Take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Mm. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Yeah, look at him. How, look how happy he is. Come on, John. I believe in you. You could do this. Uh-oh. We about to put on the gear once again. Where's Arthur's hat? Oh, shit. There it is. I wonder why he's not wearing Arthur's hat, though. That's not Arthur's hat. All right. Is this where... Is this where it opens up? All right, yeah. Okay, so we pretty much got the map back. We can go travel around. So we have Blackwater, and then we have Sadie up in Valentine. All right. That is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was really cool. I like how they added this, you know, and didn't just give us a, a cliffhanger of Arthur dying. Can you imagine how, that's the, how that was the game? Like, how that ended? That would really suck. 
but it's really cool so far i'm enjoying it i hope you guys enjoyed this video all i ask is for you to drop a like if you did and hopefully i will catch you all in the next one peace out